collecting pianos is a bit like having a dinner party. You select all these different people from different walks of life, different ages, different cultures, different languages, and you put them all together and see what happens. I've assembled a dinner party, really. It just happens to be that the guests are pianos. In 1976, I started out on my own. I've gradually collected the instruments, built the company up, found that I got some re you know, really interesting, high-profile restorations, such as the restoration of Beethoven's piano, Chopin's piano, Liszt's piano. I've been lucky and privileged. One of the things in my career I'm most proud of is having received the Royal Warrant in 2012. It's a wonderful honor, and I'm proud of it. The design aspect of these instruments is a really important influence in, in my choice of what, what I collect. I have a little 18th century instrument with beautiful Wedgwood plaques on it and some wonderful Art Deco examples some highly decorated painted instruments, a instrument, very, very futuristic instrument made out of cast aluminum, which kind of looks like a spaceship. And they all have some sort of interest for me. It's a very personal collection. I always tell other restorers when they ask, you have to let the instrument guide the way. If you impose your own values onto the instruments, you're, gonna, you're not going to get a good result. So you've got to let it show you its voice. As a collector, you're only ever the caretaker of these wonderful objects. And you have to recognize the, the right moment when it's time for somebody else to have these. And I feel good about where they're going to go and that they'll have a new lease in life. It's time to give them wings. It's time to send them out into the world.